Let us talk about cylinders in this video. You all know what is a cylinder and we are all surrounded by cylinders, right? These tin cans are cylindrical in shape. You have cylinders in the engine of your car. Many things come in the shape of cylinders. So let us look at the formulas to calculate the volume, the curved surface and the total surface area of a cylinder. So this is our cylinder. If you look at it from the bottom, you'll see that this is a circle. So let us say that this circle is of radius r and the length of the cylinder, basically it's a pipe, you know. So the length of this pipe or the height of the cylinder, I can call it as, let's say, h, right? So what will be the volume? Well, volume will be the area of the base times the height, isn't it? So area of the base will be pi r square times the height or the length this area is dragged on, you could say, right? So pi r square times h. So this is a standard formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder. That's pi r square h. Now let us move on to the curved surface area. Well, if you assume that this is a pipe, which means that these two ends of this pipe will be open, right? This is an open cylinder. So this means that the area of the surface will be only of this curved surface. So this formula will give you the area of the curved surface, right? So the curved surface area is basically defined as the circumference of the base circle times the height, isn't it? Something similar to length into breadth. Because we are taking the curved surface, we ought to take the circumference times the height. So the curved surface area will be the circumference of the base circle, that's 2 pi r times the height. So 2 pi r h is the curved surface area of a cylinder. Now let's move on to calculate the total surface area. Well, you are thinking it right. The total surface area will be this curved surface area plus the area of the two sides, isn't it? Or the two bases, I could say. So this is 2 pi r h plus you have two circles, right? On top and one on bottom. So that's pi r square plus pi r square. So I can write it as 2 pi r square because we have two circles. So if I take 2 pi r common, 2 pi r, this will be r plus h. So that's one formula for calculating the total surface area. So keep these formulas in mind. Let's solve a problem now. A cylindrical cola can has a radius of 3.5 centimeters and a height of 7 centimeters. What is the total surface area, curved surface area and the volume of cola it can contain? So basically we have been given the radius, that's r, that's 3.5 centimeters and we've been given the height, right? And that's 7 centimeter. We know the formulas, put these values in the formulas and get the answers. Okay, so let's first calculate the volume. That's pi r square h, right? So this will be 22 by 7 times 3.5 times 3.5 times 7, right? So this 7 and this 7 gets cancelled out. We have 22 times 3.5 times 3.5. And that will give you 269.5 centimeter cube. So this much of cola, this tin can can contain. Let us calculate the curved surface area now. That is 2 pi r h. So that's 2 times 22 by 7 times 3.5 times h. h is 7. So this again gets cancelled out. We have 2 times 22 times 3.5 and that's 22 times 3.5 times 2 will give you 7, isn't it? So this will be equal to 22 times 7 and that is 154. So this is the curved surface area, right? So 154 centimeter square. Now let us calculate the total surface area. Now you can calculate the area of the base multiplied by 2 and then add it with the curved surface area. We can also do that, but let's just calculate it. So from this formula, so 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 3.5 into R is again 3.5, 
plus h that's 7 well this 3.5 if multiplied by 2 gives you 7 so you can cancel both of these with this 7 so this becomes 22 times 3.5 plus 7 and that is 10.5 so 10.5 and if you multiply 10.5 by 22 you will get 231 and that will be in centimeter square so this is the total surface area right so there you go this is how you solve problems on cylinders